These are show-stopping perfumes for every budget. There's some really inexpensive ones, but great smelling ones. There's some more expensive ones and there's really expensive fragrances. So you've got everything, whatever your budget is. These are the showstoppers you need in your fragrance wardrobe and who doesn't want to smell nice? I mean, I, I don't know a person. <laughs> Let's start with the cheaper ones. I think I'm going to go kind of like cheaper than more expensive and really expensive. Uh, firstly, showstoppers. These, to me, when I was thinking about this list, they had to be really impressive smells that smell more expensive than they are. And the first fragrance is from Zara and it is Tobacco um, Rich Warm Addictive. And this fragrance, to me, does smell more expensive than it is. There is something in here that doesn't smell so luxurious, but it's because of the budget for this fragrance. Otherwise, the scent itself, it's caramel, it's sweet, it's fruity, it's got depth, it's got intensity. And this could be a niche fragrance if they used more expensive ingredients. But like most people are not that specific about fragrance. They can't be like, Oh, this is synthetic, this is not a real oil. They're not going to be like that. So for an average person, this is an amazing fragrance. It really smells more expensive than it is. I love how uh, Zara does fragrances. They really do smell amazing, most of them. And this is one of my favorites, and especially for the winter time, because this is so like caramel, just really intense, sweet fragrance. So check it out. Next fragrance that is on the lower end of the dollars or pounds or whatever your currency is, but it's absolutely amazing. It's Amber Fusion from Dialect. I really enjoy this fragrance. This is a Baccarat Rouge dupe, but such a good one. Not everybody does Baccarat Rouge dupes well. This is Baccarat Rouge, but with a more ma marzipan note. And the marzipan in here is so addictive, so good. I'll actually spray it here because I'm overwhelmed with fragrance. It's so intense. I actually get compliments for it whenever I wear it. And it's so affordable. It's around the £30 mark. It's a really good scent for the price. And I have sold all of my other Baccarat Rouge dupes for the sake of this one because this one is the best one that I found. So check it out. I worked with them in the past, so maybe my discount code will work. I'll pop it in the description. It's not like an affiliate code or anything, but maybe you can get 10% off. So I'll pop it down in the links. Next up, I've got another. This is like more of a designer scent, but it's still on the lower end and it's an absolute showstopper to me. I love the bottle as well. It's super festive and it's I want true forever. This whole line is really good, but this one I love wearing. And you guys know, like I'm, I try not to be too much of a perfume snob because I have smelled a lot of fragrances. I've got like over 600 fragrances, but in my heart, I also love like cheaper fragrances. I think there is super something super fun and like you don't have to commit to this like bulk of money going into a fragrance. And I think sometimes you can get even a better fragrance for um cheaper amounts of money cheaper amounts of money less money sometimes niche fragrances perfumes are not really worth it so i love finding gems and this is one of those fragrances that is super fun and i myself wear it <laughs> and it's just so good i actually uh, recently gave away a bottle of this to like um a shop a shop assistant because she was so nice and yeah she really enjoyed it as well so and this is a fragrance that that is a perfect gift because everybody loves this. My husband loves it, like my friends, some random people at a PI event I was, like they were all obsessed with it. This is like similar vibes a bit to Delina. It's got cocoa, it's got red fruit, it's like a slash good girl and a bit of Delina in there. It's super likable. The only thing with this vanilla, it smells a bit cheap on the dry down, but it is to me. Like I can smell the quality of the vanilla, but otherwise I think it's a super fun, really likable. Going out, like everyday scent, whatever the occasion, this is your chameleon scent that is a show stopper and your friends will definitely be like what are you wearing because it's such a good fragrance really really fun from jimmy too next we've got a lush fragrance this is my favorite absolute favorite from the line at the moment it's turmeric latte 
they discontinued it and then brought it back so good there's a freshness to it and there's also some depth to it to me this smells a bit bubblegummy it's got vanilla in here spices it smells a bit like yogurt with like this um, cherry jam that you put inside the yogurt and then you mix it so it's a bit creamy but still fresh totally reminds me of this polish yogurt called fantasia fantasia i don't know if you've got it here i i don't think i've ever seen it but maybe in other parts of europe you've got it it reminds me of that yogurt i don't know why but it's so good it smells super high quality i just hate the sprayer okay lush please change the sprayer because I mean, come on, guys, it's just not a nice, luxurious experience. But otherwise, this fragrance is totally amazing and show stopping. It is like niche level, really nice, but the price isn't bad. Next, let's go to show stopping designer fragrances. And the first one for me is Elisab Le Parfum, Le Parfum Lumiere. This is a fragrance that is magnificent. It's white flowers, it's regal, it smells very sophisticated. To me, this is a woman that works in a posh place like in an office but like she is a lawyer and she has got a very nice office this is what this fragrance smells like to me like a successful woman living in a big city but she's still like she probably wears dresses to work every single day or this could be like a teacher this gives me like this authoritative but still like feminine sort of a smell absolutely show-stopping really intense and airy if you want a fragrance that smells like that this is an absolutely amazing amazing scent next up is versace crystal noir this is the eau de toilette version and to me this scent i said it before but it smells like an emo kid or a woman that now has grown up and she still wants to smell like this because this is like vampy mysterious mysterious like dark colors it smells kind of clean and coconutty but in this like almost like a church way like when you walk into a church and it smells clean but dusty this is what this fragrance smells like to me without being too like church woody smelling this is not that but the coconut the just smoothness of it this smells like that person to me it's a sexy cold like kind of don't talk to me fragrance but um one of you said that you actually wore it when you met your husband and you still love it so i mean this is a very sexy fragrance you can app apparently find a husband when wearing it so i mean that's a showstopper for you full stop next fragrance is an mess fragrance that i adore and it's L'Ombre de Merveille or de Parfum. This scent to me is a winter showstopper because it gives you intensity and lightness at the same time. This scent is spicy amber, so beautifully blended. It's got a calming quality to it, like this calming elegance. It's very nicely put together, like this could be a niche fragrance. This is this sort of a level of perfumery for a price tag of a designer, but this could be bottled in a different bottle and sold and this would be more expensive. I adore the scent. This is, I would say, if you love amber, light, airy, fresh amber, warm scents, this is perfect. And this could be your signature scent all year round, but to me, this is like my winter go-to scent. Oh, so so good next up i've got another designer scent that is completely show-stopping to me because of its uniqueness and also because of the intensity of the scent and it is lalique soleil this is the eau de parfum there's something about this it's so unusual i love lalique scents because they don't seem to follow this pattern of trying to be like super likable and like for everybody like most designer brands they really have some gems in there they really just have so many fragrances for every sort of a taste and because they're not stocked everywhere they're a bit more unique 
and the bottles are always absolutely stunning and like different designs this fragrance to me is like it's weird it starts off like quite masculine but then it goes in this like lactic vanilla sort of a place while still being super fresh and kind of spiky i don't know what the spikiness in here is but it's kind of like this green spikiness that goes through this whole fragrance super unique very different it's got radiance to it lightness but still it's very sweet to a point it's like this weird thing because i want to say this is a gourmand but this is like more of a semi-gourmand because of the green spikiness and the opening of this fragrance super show-stopping really intense it projects really well so if you love semi-gourmands and you have never tried le soleil this is to die for absolutely amazing next higher end designer fragrance is vanilla diorama from christian dior Oh my gosh, this is everything. This is a showstopper in a nutshell. Super intense, really airy, and I love intense fragrances that are a bit airy and a bit fresh, although this is a vanilla dessert, no question, but it's not so heavy that it doesn't project, you know what I mean? Uh, and with this one, you've got this like Coca-Cola fizzy fresh opening, You've got the caramelliness, the vanilla, the tonka bean. You've got a bit of this like leveriness to this vanilla that makes it so much more unique and multifaceted. Super loud. This fragrance, I mean, I have to be careful with sprays when I apply because you just can smell too much, but that is good quality fragrance for you. Super intense in the oil content as well. So like you can just See the oil on your skin when you apply it. If you love vanilla and you want like a fizzy Coca-Cola vanilla, this is a showstopper. If I could, I would probably go to like each one of you and like try to find a perfect fragrance for you because I love doing that. I love finding signature fragrances for people and I myself, I don't have one. <laughs> sad sad times but i just can't commit to one fragrance i don't know if you like that as well comment down below if you have a signature scent or not but i absolutely love finding signatures signature scents for people and i have done that quite a lot of times it's so much fun anyway next up we're going to the niche sector show stopping fragrances one of them is initios paragon this is a newer release i really love it because it's got enough spiciness in here to make it really interesting and then it's got this like fruitiness it's got woodsiness in here it's got everything that you could want in a fragrance it smells modern fresh different and for those of you that love niche fragrances you probably know initia has this like signature transparent woodsiness in a lot of the scents and this one has it and i love love how they've put this fragrance together it's intense it projects nicely it is a showstopper to me and calming at the same time it's got calming energy like all of the white bottle scents but this one is more invigorating while still calming so you won't feel like you're falling asleep at work whereas rehab could put you to sleep at work because it's so so calming initials rehab this is the name of the fragrance but this one is more like go go to work but still like you've got it all going on put together i love this showstopper next absolutely showstopping fragrance for every budget and this one is on the higher end is royal princess oud from creed this is elegance this is oud done in a french way with a very light touch uh, if you think of what fragrances this is not what you typically would think of uh, but it does smell royal it smells like windsor castle <laughs> it smells herbal vegetal interesting but so soft and feminine it's the weirdest juxtaposition i love how they put together this fragrance that is why it's a showstopper for me it's a fragrance for those of you that really appreciate quality and want something that is a light everyday very classical light french oud a lot of words in there that's what i would say super super good and um, my favorite from the line of women's fragrances together with one more 
next is a fragrance brand that I also adore and this is a showstopper it's a l'artisan parfumer and this is couleur vanille this fragrance it is for those of you that love vanilla but you want a vanilla that stands out this is a showstopper it's intense it gives you nice scent payoff when you apply it but it's magical in the saltiness because this smells like the air at the beach that is a bit salty, a bit like ozonic, is that what you say? There's like airiness in there that just does you well, you know? It's super, super good, simple, but with the twist, really amazing for those of you who really enjoy your semi ones. Another scent that is amazing and I picked the extrait version but I love the eau de parfum as well. Gris Chanel from BDK, I'll keep singing its praises. Gris Chanel is an amazing scent. It is smooth, <laughs> it's got figs, it's got sandalwood. This one in particular is a bit more of a spicy take on the Gris Chanel. The eau de parfum is much more smooth. I've done a comparison between the two so I'll pop it in the cards as well. This scent is definitely a showstopper as scent that you should keep secret because if too many people know about it then it might become too popular this is a scent that i get asked all the time about it's one that men and women adore it's something that is universally liked but still very unique and smooth and the last scent it is Parisian mask, which I have nearly run out of now from Matière Premier. Actually, now you guys can buy it in the US because for a long time it was only like in the, in Europe. Um, so I'll link it down below. This fragrance is so high quality and it's figs and it's green figs that are just so intense. Like I want to love Philosophers as much as I do this. There is something about this fragrance that is so fun. There is this like prickliness in the nose when you smell this. So there's fig and something else that I can't put my finger on that just makes it so much more wild and a bit sweeter and more rounded than Philosophers. So it's not as green. It's a bit more smooth. This just something in here that makes it so so fun really intense if you love figs and fragrances fresh figs this is <clears throat> everything and definitely a showstopper let me know what is one showstopping fragrance in your collection that people ask you about all the time down in the comments so i can get also some ideas because i want some recommendations guys like Tell me about some good fragrances and subscribe, of course, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.